how can a balanced development benefit our lives will be presented by Dr. Fanny Hatina, Chair of the Scientific Commission on Bee Health of Apimondia, the International Association of Beekeepers Association and Coordinator of the Local Urbact Group in Nea Propontida, Greece. Please, the floor is yours. Hello, everybody. It's so good to be here with you. Sorry, I cannot speak in Slovenian. <laughs> it is a bit difficult for me. Um, so I will take you through some of my experience. And I'm really happy to be here, not only because of the invitation, of course, but because I had this chance to be the local coordinator and part of uh, the BIPATHNET uh, project, which really taught me a lot and gave me a lot of uh, pleasure. So, how do I go down like that? Right, okay. So, we will talk a little bit about how urban development is focusing in nature and how this can help the humans and the bees and examples and lessons uh, learned. On your right, you can see a metallic bee that we created in Aeropodida, in, Aeropo in, Aeropo in Aeropodida, actually, in the city. And we are just trying, we moved it from one place to another until we find the proper one. We still did not find the proper place uh, for it. So um, I will start from pictures that I put them there in purpose. I want to make you a little bit guilty. All of us, we should be a little bit guilty because this guilt is what drive us to find solutions and challenges. And you see that what I call the green deserts on your left, uh, I don't know if you can see that, no. Uh, or the criminal deserts like these mines here, but it's not only these that they just destroy our environment, it's general the urbanization or all the um, industry that it is good, technology is good, it brings us forward, but also creates quite a lot of problems for us, and then we need to find uh, solutions. But also other kind of technology, like for example, the electromagnetic uh, frequency. We moved for, from 3G to 4G, and now we are going to 5G. But from 3 to 4 to 5, it's only two digits. But if we are talking about the frequency, we go from 25 to, I, I can't remember how long. So it is a big, big challenge for us to be able to live uh, in harmony uh, with this world because we are part of the environment, but also bees, because we're talking about bees today, they, they are part of uh, our environment and they've been in this world long, long time before we really be there. So what the way I saw it, what is the target that brought us to this community, to this colony and the activities of this colony that it was called BIPATHNET. First, we wanted to increase knowledge. And this is what we managed to do. I will show you a few examples of our own um, experience through these URBACT projects. Uh, we hear before how URBACT can uh, help to achieve this kind of, of the target. So increase knowledge about bees, the environment, the importance, and how we can live together. Increase the citizens' awareness. It is really true that year after year, the citizens become more aware of the importance of the bees, of the importance to keep the healthy environment, like also for the uh, biological, the organic products. I mean, producers also increase in uh, using this uh, aspect. How we should improve biodiversity, because this is really very important, not only for the plants, but also for the bees, the animals, and if we are talking about bees, maybe the honeybees, the bees that we know in, and keep in the colonies, it is 10, 12 species, but we have 20,000 species around the world, which is our, the rest, the solitary, usually the solitary bees. Create new bee products, and we manage to do that in all the cities as well as in our municipality. <laughs> And it seems that also people that they started with one thing, then they developed in these years. I've seen their development. It's really very good. They wouldn't have done this without the, the involvement through uh, the URBACT. Involve the municipality. 
because okay it's urban projects but finally municipalities they get into the urban project but sometimes they are a little bit on the side i mean they have one or two people uh, working but as a municipality they don't really know anything even the mayor in the beginning does not know anything so we managed to bring the whole municipality more close mobilize the citizens which is the most important of all because otherwise you cannot achieve anything and then the citizens is what is the people that they vote is the people that they demand is the people uh, citizens consumers everything that we are doing in the environment comes back to us we are the final target no appreciate and protect the nature which is the outmost uh, goal promote happy tourism this is something that in our municipality we try to bring a little bit forward with very, very small, like a turtle's uh, steps and create specific infrastructures because otherwise, and if we didn't have this collaboration with Urbact, we wouldn't be able to create these infrastructures. And infrastructures, I mean some construction, some activities, but then it is the local group, the creation of the local group in which part we are a little bit weak, I think we have a weakness in my, my city because we did not manage to keep yet the group um, solid and... Um. So, for example, the real Bipath in our city, how it was created, there are special points like in every city that people can visit, we created the maps, we had the money and the initiative to and the, 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 the support of Urbact and the, the rest of the partners to do this. Also we uh, created and we um, made a game around the city to involve the citizens, the kids, the tourists, but also the shops. We did not we did not start using the, the game, but we are about to do it. Okay. But at the end, in order sorry, in order to do all this, it takes some time, no? Yeah. So the infrastructure that I was telling you that it has it it can be in every aspect. I mean, it can be an educational corner, it can be an interactive game, it can be a poster somewhere, it can be um, like your happy kindergarten um, a syllabus for small kids um, or a nest for wild bees somewhere in a park or involving the kids that they can uh, work with us. and. Uh, through through working and through experience they can learn uh, what is all uh, all about the interactive games that we created and we need to do more because at the end when i put things down and you see the pictures you say ah that's a lot of things but if you go around the city you see mm, they have very little the citizens demand more in order um, or we should have more in order to reach the goal at that level we need really more and some of the products that we um, that uh, we had created some people got even more created like the company over there that they created their own game it's the be a beekeeper for one day it's really very nice to see the different ways that people can work to create new ideas and how they um, how they put them in practice so uh, when we are talking about urbact and urban uh, projects, we need to talk about this, the urban beekeeping, but sometimes uh, there are ideas and there are experiences that they come from particular areas, like this one, there is the Pantilleria Island in Italy, it's between uh, Tunisia and, um, and Sicily, it's a very small uh, island, and there it is an environment where the citizens, together with the local municipality, they didn't have to have an urban project, or maybe they had it many years before, but they are doing similar things. They try to live in harmony with the managed bees, the wild bees, the solitary bees, the other pollinators, but also these bees that they are live in the cracks and uh, in the uh, halls of uh, old uh, buildings. These are unmanaged honeybees, that they live in harmony with the people. Also, the uh, management of the agriculture is more environmentally uh, friendly, and everything uh, lives together. And they try to promote this in order to say that if the environment is healthy and the bees can live nicely, we can be healthy as well. 
This is one example of the free living colonies. And the, the other one is from the island of Gura. In the island of Gura, there are bees that they also survive without treatment because the treatment for the uh, diseases, it's also another way that uh, we can bring chemicals to the environment, the in-hive products. And uh, also um, bees can live in the cracks of the uh, old uh, buildings and the environment it's more friendly and there are also initiatives for protecting the rest of the pollinators because as i said we are all part of the nature and these are examples like the ones that we have that they can really tell us that we can do it right we can all live in uh, in harmony the importance of bees is something that we all know and this is what we see. Probably you've seen me playing this uh, picture before. And this is what we need to show to the consumers and strike. This is how our supermarket and food supplies will, leak, will uh, look without, without the bees. Let's see it again. This is like that. And this is like without this. And in fact, uh, uh, what we've seen through this is that uh, the citizens, the citizens need uh, to have uh, a kind of, um, how to say, of a guidance and good practice together with the municipalities in order to be able to be mobilized and work towards that. Well, there is a problem over there. In fact, what I wanted to say is that in Apimondia we also thought that the healthy environment and the, the health of the environment is connected with the health of the bees. And uh, we created um, a video, it's a four minutes video, uh, that you can find it if you go to Apimodia website and also to the um, YouTube of uh, Apimodia. Sorry, it was a mistake here that is not uh, uploaded. So you can find it there. And I will just... Oh! <laughs> It plays. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I didn't realize that. But I, we don't have the time. We can see it in, if you wish in the, uh, in the break. But uh, I would like to leave you here. Thank you for your attention, for everything that you do to protect our bees, and leave you with this beautiful picture of all the bees around the world. Thank you so much. <laughs>